Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met! You've known all along! That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say... it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Ah, it's nothing really. Paimon just told them whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods, and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? Hmm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the Divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, Supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? 
Not to mention, with no new electrovisions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. <laughs>